Well, I uh, managed to score a nice little BNC to composite video adapter and I've hooked it up to my 42 inch plasma so we will now get to see the Panasonic AG6500 in action for the first time. And that's the sound of a VCR that has serious balls. All right, we've got Titanic loaded in the cassette deck. Let's uh, show you how that works. So here's the VHS of Titanic. This is tape number one. Okay. The counter is zeroed. The movie is started. So let's go ahead and press play. Let's adjust our tracking. That's out. In. So let's see. What, whoa, this tape is pretty crappy. Alright, I think there might be a tensioning issue in the deck. So a partial rebuild might be necessary. <laughs> but that picture is crystal clear. Now let's see the jog function in action. I'm just turning it very slowly here. Let's, let's try to roll it. It even plays audio here. This is cool. It actually leaves the audio heads on as I roll through. So let's try to get some dialogue going. Fast forward a bit. Backwards, forward, doesn't get much more precise than this. Now you got to remember this VCR is now 20, it's a 1986 model, so 25, 26, about 26 years old. Look at that. That's 26 years old. Now, this VCR was used in a, in a television station. Yeah, Roger that. Okay, drop down and... Go back on that one. Now, let's take a look at the jog function, or the uh, shuttle position. If I push this knob in, or, or pull it out, sorry, I can put it on cruise control. I'm not touching anything. Reverse. Oh, I want to see that frame a little bit. So I'm going to put this back into jog. I want to see if I can see some more detail on that image. Of course, oh yeah, the camera's rolling, uh, the, the picture is rolling on the camera, but that's just a side effect of incompatible refresh rates. 
That's pretty cool. This VCR is badass. Let's get a good look at what's actually in that safe. Now this is freeze frame. Let's go back. Nice. Now let's take a look at some other functions. I turn the search function off. Oh, that just stops it. Okay. Oh, I might. So, let's take a look at some other functions. I don't have anything hooked up to record, so let's just put it back in play. Not sure what that does. That's input function. Ah, uh, let's see. Remote local, headphone level. Still plenty of places you could be. Hell yes! The Florida I don't have anything to set up the editing functions, but that just changes the memory on the, uh, the counter. Uh, let's see. Audio monitor. It doesn't matter. Server lock tells me that it's running at a locked um, in sync uh, speed. So if I forward it a little bit with the shuttle here, of course it's out of it's no longer locked into a specific speed. Um, put this back in jog. You pretty much get what we're doing here. Um, Let's see, let's go ahead and play. Oh my god damn. We use the pause feature. This has the best pause freeze frame I have ever seen on any VCR. Unfortunately, the tape is not staying tight around the drum. And it could probably use a proper cleaning too. But, I mean, basically what we have here is a 26-year-old VCR that's seen heavy use in a local TV station. So it's not going to be perfect. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go. This is what I was going to mess with here. Let's, let's start that again. Gain control. AGC, thanks to my viewers... AGC is gain control, automatic gain control. 
saying normal. Frame servo on or off. Not really sure how that affects the operation of this or what. It must do something. Let's hit play. Of course, we all know what Dolby, Dolby noise reduction. It, it actually muddies the sound a little bit. On, off, off, on, off, on. Oh, let's mix mass. Let's mix that up right there. Let's see here. I'll put it on a uh, shuttle. I can't do it fast enough to get some scratch. That sounds cool. Crank that up. Oh yeah, nice rumble. Jurassic Park style. Anyway. So, there you have it. The AG6500 is fully functional to my well, at least to this point. Now, would I put it back in service in a TV station? Probably not. <laughs> it should probably see a proper service. You know, full, correct, you know, head cleaning, maybe some adjustments. New belts, definitely. Um, you know, I mean, it may have some <clears throat> failing capacitors, basically from age. Although the capacitors made in that time period were pretty well built. I believe they used oil-based electrolyte back then, and the stuff would pretty much run forever. Um, as you can clearly see, it still works um, just fine. But, rewind the tape, pull it out, and I'll have to find a new home for this, because I have no use for a VCR of this massiveness. Now, to show you what adapter we needed, this is it. Basically a twist on um, BNC to composite adapter. I gotta give this back to my coworker I borrowed it from. And that is how you can connect these to a regular uh, composite cable or RCA jack style cable. Push on connector. So there you go the AG6500 in action. I hope you've all enjoyed watching this video and I'm again going to try to sell this thing or figure out if I can get a home for it. It weighs a ton. Um, the shipping costs alone would be astronomical but I'm not going to just throw it out. I mean it's just too cool for that. So thanks again for watching.